Hello students, welcome to Gatewala English channel. In this session, uh, we will be focusing more on constructing the PDA. In previous session, we have understood what is PDA, how many ways the PDA can be designed to accept a language. Right. In this mechanism or in this construction, we will be seeing the PDA acceptance using final state. So, PDA construction using final state mechanism is our main target to understand, okay, using a final a state mechanism. Fine. Let us begin this uh, construction of PDA. What we are going to do, we know what is PDA. Now, we are going to start the construction of PDA. Then, you will get to know slowly what is the difference between deterministic and non-deterministic Pushdown automata. And then, we will be having the some important points about the PDAs. Then, we will see some practice questions at the end. Let us begin the first question of the PDA. How to construct the PDA for the first problem? Let us say the language is A star. Then how do you design? See now, any number of A's you want to accept. That means, epsilon you have to accept, 1A you have to accept, 2A you have to accept, 3A you have to accept. So, what is the agenda that will help you to understand the PDA for this A star? There are many ways to design a PDA. It is not just one way, one machine for the uh, A star. There are infinite push down automatas for understanding A star. So, which way you want to design that you need to first analyze. So, in one way that you can design, you want to accept everything, right? So, you want simple ways, epsilon accepted and any number of A's you want to accept, just you can put A comma Z naught slash Z naught. That means, you do not want to use the stack for any sequence of symbols. So, Z naught is there initially and uh, always Z naught is there. You are not pushing and you are not popping. So, you are keeping the same Z naught all the time. So, no operation on the stack. So, this can make A star to accept and assume in all the PDAs that we are going to design, Z naught is there by default. If not there, you can push by taking epsilon comma Z naught slash Z uh, epsilon comma epsilon slash Z naught. So, if you do not have a Z naught, you can push it, but we assume always Z naught is available initially on the stack. Okay. So, this is one way. Another way is you can also design a PDA by saying simply A comma epsilon slash epsilon. What is the difference between these two machines? In this machine, Z naught is there initially, in this machine Z naught is there, but here you are reading, you are looking at the stack and saying that Z naught is there and also after reading A also Z naught is there, but here you are not looking at the stack and you are doing no operation on the stack. It is the same, right? Z naught you are keeping always Z naught or you are not doing anything on the stack at all. So, these two have no difference, but this is the deterministic way and this is the non-deterministic way. Both are non-deterministic anyhow, but this is a deterministic way. This you cannot use in deterministic. So, this you cannot use in deterministic, but both can be used in non-deterministic machine. Like in PDA, you can use both of them. This is PDA no doubt and this is also PDA no doubt, but this is also DPDA. You can say that because every DPDA is a PDA, but this is not a DPDA. You cannot say this is a DPDA. And this is the most important point, how do you want to design a machine? How do you want to design a machine? And there are infinite other ways to do that. Only I am showing two ways to understand A star, okay? Let us move to the second problem. Second problem. Now, the language you want to accept, let us say, A plus, right? How do you design A plus machine? And at least one A should come, right? Anyhow, you do not have any comparison, you do not have you know anything to remember. So, simply uh, the states states would be enough. First, at least one A should come and initially Z naught is there and keep the Z naught. You do not need to push as you do not need to remember anything except that sequence of A's. And once you come here, you can accept everything, right? One A you accept, A followed by any number of A's you accept. See that? Z naught slash Z naught. It is so easy to design to understand A plus. So, now epsilon is not accepted because there is no path to the final and you will halt at initial state, epsilon not accepted. 1A, you will go to the final and you will halt and double A, you have a Z naught, again you have a Z naught. So, always you are keeping the Z naught only. So, double A, triple A and so on, everything is accepted. So, the language is going to be at least 1A over the A's. Okay. How easy to design, right? If you know the concept, how to uh, take a transition. Third one, 
now l is equal to let's say starting with a suppose i want to understand starting with a and you know in uh, nfa or dfa in finite automata if a comes you will go to final there you will read any number of a's or any number of b's you know how to design this machine right using this concept also you can uh, design a pda so you copy paste that machine only transitions you can add something different like initial state on a you will go to final state there on a on b you can do something what just add z0 slash z0 for every input symbol that's it here also here a is there b is there right here comma z0 slash z0 that means you don't want to use a stack at all you don't want to push or pop anything on the stack so this makes a very easy to design if you know what is the finite data for regular language you can always convert every finite automata into pda so this is another uh, concept and every finite data is convertible into pda just by adding z0 slash z0 for along with every input symbol okay just uh, just add just append along with input just what is gamma and gamma star which makes which makes it is going to be uh, the pda fine now the first important language here that is the a power n b power n a power n b power n where n is greater than or equal to 0 so what is the meaning of this epsilon should be accepted a b should be accepted double a double b should be accepted and when you go on for the right so how do you understand the strings let's say i have a five a's and then i have five b's how do you understand this a string and how do you accept so initially initially you need to make a logic like initially z naught is there initially what is there z naught is there so this is what do you do you will push them so every a you will push one a so how many a's are there five a's so five a's are going to come here five a's then what will you do here you are going to here push a here pop a's but how many that is very important how many how many a's you want to push for each a how many a's you want to pop for each b so here one a push for each a and one a pop for each b so now every b you are going to pop one a only remember that okay and every b you are going to pop one a but sometimes we may have other logics so you should follow that now at the end of the input end of the input you don't have anything right assume epsilon at the end of the input you should have a z naught combination so at the end of the input that is z naught should be there now you may keep a z naught doesn't matter what you do but epsilon comma z naught should be there then you can go to final state so this is the acceptance uh, combination acceptance combination of input and top of the stack so epsilon at when the end of the input comes the top of the stack should be z naught then you go to a special state which is the final okay special state you go don't keep the final in between so you will have a confusion so now let's look at how do you put the push the a's there are many ways to do there are many ways to do you want to design dpda or you want just design a you know, pda which is not a deterministic so you, you decide so pda is basically very easy to design but if you want to go for deterministic you need to take each combination see that what happens initially initially that first time a comma z naught here what do you see here the combination comes like a comma z naught that slash a z naught comes but for all of them you need to see something like this a comma a slash double a comes why is that because for this a's top of the stack a you will see but for this first a you will see z naught as the top of the stack so there are two transitions you need to put in a self loop to read all the a's but first a j comma z naught will happen but remaining all the a's you will take a comma a you will read it so there are two transitions associated with the self loop so any one you can take any time but you know that this comes for the first a and this comes for the remaining all the a's now with the help of these two transitions these are two transitions it's not a one only one edge but two transitions with the help of these two transitions you can push all the a's but when the first b comes you need to start popping a so what you do is here when b comes what should be the top of the stack a so when b comes a should be the top of the stack because you want to say equal right so b comma a it's a pop and it's just for the first b i did but remaining all the b's you have to do the same thing that is once you go here the same thing you maintain here every b you just pop one a 
and what happens with this every b you are going to pop one e every b you are going to pop one e but how long you are going to do as many b's comes that many a should be there on the stack when the end of the input comes so from here it is very important now when the end of the input comes when the end of the this is called as end end of the input comes then j not only should be there and then do whatever doesn't matter you pop it or keep it doesn't matter you go to the final but this path is guaranteed at least 1a 1b and equal number of a's and b's but if you don't have anything because greater than or equal to 0 equal to 0 means n equal to 0 means a power 0 b power 0 means epsilon so from here if you get end directly go to the final that is if directly epsilon comes and j not is there and you can keep j not or you can pop it doesn't matter so you can go to final right so this is very important this happens only for when there is no input symbol and this is also end this is also end well, how do you know this is the end because from here there are no outgoing transitions if you want to halt here this must be end so this machine is going to accept the equal number of a's and b's when uh, a's followed by b's comes okay a power n b power n a language accepted by this push down automata in fact this is a non deterministic push down autom sorry it is also deterministic push down automata you can call this machine specially pda and dpda okay every dpda is a pda but pda need not be dpda so this machine you can also design some other way see that how simply i can design i'm designing other way that is uh, the first one you know need to take two transitions you can do one also we using non deterministic nature a comma epsilon slash a this can take care of both the transitions right and then for every b you pop a this is no change and it is also no change and here remaining all are same on epsilon z not slash z not go to final and here also same this is another one but what is the advantage you know even you have the more transition that you can represent with few transitions uh, that is the advantage of pda this is a pda you can't call dpda but this one is both you can call dpda or every dpda is a pda so this is not a dpda but this is a dpda but both are pdas both are pdas both are accepting same language a power n b power n okay so let's focus on another one fifth one a power n b power 2n where n is greater than or equal to 0 so how you accept uh, the strings take the long enough string so that you will understand very easily let's say 3 a's and 6 b's so 6 uh, b's right twice the b's you have sorry uh, a b is nothing but twice to the a's now what is the logic for you the first a the combination is for this a a comma z not so what do you do push push means a z not so we got a and second a what do you do now if you are going to do this right every a if you push one a then here every two b you need to pop a and of course that can be done there is another simple way every single a you push two a's right why do you want to push one a then you can also push two a see that double a z not now double a comes for one a see that the, for the first a i can push two a's and the second a again i push two a's but this time the top of the stack is a so what i do here is a comma a i will push two a's and already one a is there so when you have the one a then other two a's comes extra so for this this a for this a you will push two a's again and this a you can use the same combination right again two a's comes now for this b you just pop one a enough because you made equal number of a's and b's now on the stack now exactly same number of b's you can see how many a's are there how many a's are there exactly same number of b's and now when the end of the input comes you need to guarantee j not only there on the stack then you go to accept then you go to final okay so the logic is very simple what you do is one logic is every a push two a's then every b pop one a otherwise if you push every a is just one a then every two b's you need to pop one a now you need to ask me question sir how can i pop one a for every two b's every two b's how do i pop one a what you have to do is first b don't do anything skip don't do anything on the stack but second b pop then how do you do that 
just b comma a keep a for this one but for this one b comma a epsilon just make a loop like that if there is a state and first you do skip then keep a loop and pop and from here every two b's you just pop one a so you can make easily logic but understand there are various ways to uh, make a pda for the same language but how you want to uh, design a PDA, first make a logic, then follow according to your logic. So now one in my logic, what I did is every A I push two A's and every B I pop one A. This is the one logic that I made here according to that I am designing push down automata. Now let us look at that combination. From the initial state, from the initial state A comma Z naught. How many A's you want to push? Two A's. So Z naught above you will be having two A's. If this is not going to happen, other possibility is a comma a. When the top of the stack is a, I will push again two a's only. Two a's already a is there, so three a's you will uh, represent here. That means one a slash triple a means two a's extra came means two a's you have pushed. Now this is to push, to push two a's for every a. If there are three a's, you will see six a's on the stack with the help of these two transitions. Now when the b comes. You have to do only one thing, just pop one A, because you made equal number of A's and B's, right? When it, when the B's comes, the same number of A's are there on the stack. Now every B you just pop one A, and you keep doing it. If really the number of B's is going to be twice the A's, then definitely number of B's it will match with the the A's on the stack. If you keep the six, uh, if you read six B's, then six A's will be popped at the end of the input. You must see the Z naught. You must see the Z naught to accept. And I'm keeping slash. That means you do whatever. We don't care because we are going to final. There, there are no transitions. This represent end of the input. And also n is equal to zero is there. So a power zero, b power two times zero. That's a power zero, b power zero is epsilon. So from initial state, if the end of the input comes, then you should accept it. Okay. So this uh, this is going to accept uh, what? the a power and b power 2 and strings and similarly you can make a lot of machines right so based on this concept based on this concept i'm just going to give homework i'm just going to give homework so it's your job now you know how to design a pda i'm giving you lot of uh, problems as homework so you need to do it okay so i'm just giving you homework problems but practice on your own a power 2n b power n where n greater than or equal to 0, okay, 7, a power 2n, b power 2n, 8, similar way, you just practice it, you can easily do it, not an issue, you can easily do it, 9, a power n, b power n plus 1, where n greater than or equal to 0. Okay, so this uh, you take it as homework. Here, how many problems are there? Four problems. Take it as homework, and try to do it. Fine. Uh, next, see that the tenth problem. Very interesting problem. That is W ash double W power R such that W belongs to zero comma one whole star. So what is this represents? Uh, it represents something like a palindrome concept. Here, suppose I have 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. Then what happens when ash comes? This one exactly you will see there. And this 0 exactly you will see here. And this 0 exactly you will see here. And this one exactly you will see here. And this 0 is here. And if this is really W, and this will be W power R. And remember that its language is not having two symbols. Here, sigma is going to have three symbols. Remember, 0, 1, there is a special input symbol that is ash. So, here sigma is having three symbols. Do not assume 0, 1 only. W is over 0, 1, but language is over 0, 1 ash. Okay? Fine. Now, how to design a machine for that? So, what is the way you design? For all these symbols, does not matter what combination, how it begins, before the ash, whatever it is there, you need to push all possibilities right you need to push it the whole w you need to push but when the reverse is after the ash this one if if this is going to be pushed on the stack let's say 
Z0 is there, right? Initially. Now, what do you see? Above Z0, 0, 1, double 0 is going to be pushed as it is. Okay? As it is. Now, see that after ash, ash you are going to skip. As you don't remember it, as just you, when ash comes, you know the logic that reverse is going to begin. See that first symbol you can see. Oh, that one is forgot to push. Okay? One is also there. Okay? Even I did not uh, keep that point here. Here till one, right? Fine. Now, when one comes right, see that that is there on the top of the stack. So, immediately this one will pop this one, then this zero will pop this zero. So, in the same sequence that you see here, right, the same way it, that is there on the stack because the last in is going to be first out. So, last which is there as the first. So, w w power r is going to match somehow. So, this one will pop this one and this zero will pop. It's going to cancel like this. Zero will pop zero and zero will pop zero. One will pop one, zero will pop zero. And at the end, when epsilon comes, you will see Z0 at the bottom. So, when epsilon comes, you will be seeing the combination epsilon comma Z0. So, you are going to accept. It's very easy. You are going to push and you are going to pop by match. Pop with match. Like you are going to see 0 comma 0 pop and 1 comma 1 pop. But 0, 1, 1, 0 it never happens because this is going to be W, W power R combination. So, here push any combination. Which combination may come? Initially 0 may come. Push. Initially 1 may come. Push. Doesn't matter. If this first symbol whether it is 0 or 1 just push it. And any combination like you know uh, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. All combinations will push that 0, 0 and 0, 1. 1, 0 is a 1, 0. And 1, 1 is 1, 1. Every combination you will push till the ash comes. When the ash comes, you skip and after that just pop by match. So, how do you design a machine? See that. How easy? Initially, W comes, right? This is a W. What, kind, what combination may come? Like 0, Z0, 1, Z0, or 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. All combinations. Push means see that 0, Z0 is 0, Z0. 1 z naught is 1 z naught, 0 0 means 0 0, 0 1, 1 0, 1 1. So, you are going to push. Then when, uh, what is the situation? Skip. Ash comes, does not matter who is the top of the stack. Here nobody is there, then z naught will see. If it is a 1, you will see 1. If it is 0, you will see 0. So, this w could be epsilon also because whole star means power 0 will be give you epsilon. If nothing is there, in this language ash is also valid. Because before ash and after ash, epsilon might be there. So now, when ash comes, doesn't matter when z naught might be there, or zero might be there, or one might be there. All are different combinations, so it is deterministic in nature. Okay? Then go to this state, and from this state, pop by match. This is the reverse of the W. How it matches? Zero zero pop, one one pop. But don't ever pop zero one one zero. If it happens zero comma one here, that means it is not W ash W power R form. Okay? So, if this is going to pop, then at the end of the input, at the end of the input that you will see definitely Z0, do whatever but go to final. Operation does not matter, push, pop, skip because you are going to final after that nothing happens. So, this is how you do it. And epsilon, is it accepted? No, because at least one ash should be there. So, here epsilon is not accepted. W is epsilon, then epsilon ash, epsilon is the minimum string is ash. So, remember the language here is ash is the minimum string. Next 0 ash 0, next 1 ash 1 and so on. This is the language, right? So, now here any string which is going to be accepted take this path and will go to the final, okay? So, this is the deterministic PDA. So, you can call this language is deterministic context free language. And also you can call context free language because every DPDA is a PDA. So, every DCFL is a CFL. Okay, so this is your tenth language. But based on this, now you have a biggest challenge for understanding that is eleventh one. What is it? The eleventh language is W W power R. If you really want to understand this language, and you should spend more time to get the knowledge because here this language is not having. DPDA. So, it is a CFL but not a DCFL and you should aware of this. You have a PDA but you cannot design a DPDA. We can design 
we can design PDA but we can't we have we cannot design we don't have DPDA so this is a very important point we do not have a DPDA so non deterministically you can accept the string but deterministically you cannot say which path exactly will lead to final you can't say because multiple paths will be there some path will lead to final so how do you do that so it's a non deterministic in nature so i might be explaining in a minute but actually you should spend half an hour or 15 minutes to get the idea so w w power r right and w is 0 1 whole star so this w you need to push how but non deterministically how long non deterministic in nature but at some point of time you should change your knowledge or you change your logic and you need to start popping if really this popping is going to be correct then at the end of the input you will see jad not so there might be multiple paths so how do you do it first you need to focus on push so push w how do you do that you know i no need to deterministic now see that 0 comma epsilon 0 1 comma epsilon 1 that would be sufficient because i know either 0 or 1 comes i, will, I don't know how long i push i push it but at some point of time you can change the state and when do I do? That depends because there are multiple choices. At least one path will go to final. Okay, non deterministic machine will never tell you which path you need to go. You need to identify, you need to understand by looking at the possible transitions. And now, a 0, 0, you pop it, 1, 1, you pop it. If really you have taken the decision to change the state correctly, then this exactly matches with the reverse. And at the end of the input, you can go epsilon z0, you can go to final state. Now you look at if I give you any string which is there in the WW power R form, definitely at least one path, but which path don't ask because at least one path, I don't know how that comes, but you need to do the non deterministic trials. So now if I give you this 0, 1, 1, let's say 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. So you by looking at this by, by manually, I'm saying this is a W, this is a reverse, but machine will not know when to take the reverse you need to look at is there any path that goes to final now look at you push all this five symbols then this one take the transition here take the epsilon and change the state here this zero you pop this one this zero you pop and this one you pop and this one you pop and this zero you pop and at the end you will see the jad not on the top of the stack so there is a path that leads to final that's why we have a machine for the set of even length palindromes over binary numbers Okay, binary symbols, but really you do not have a deterministic machine. The nobody knows when to take the reverse deterministically, but non-deterministically we can show that yes, at some point of time reverse will happen. The really reverse you predict, then definitely you can accept the uh, even length palindrome. Okay, so this is a very important machine. You need to work hard to understand this problem. I'm putting the triple star. Okay, in case if you feel that my explanation is not enough, you need to work hard to understand this language. Okay, so now based on this, there are so many languages which are CFL but not DCFL. So that we are going to do in the next session. But before that, I will give you some um, important questions for you and you need to practice. Okay, in the next class, we will be seeing along with the difference between DPD and PDA, we will see important points too. But before that, the, I'm going to give you some machines. You need to understand the language, okay? So this is M and really interesting machines. This is the M and which is going to do some, are going to accept some strings. You need to identify them. So it's going to push S and I do something here. B comma A, I will do that pop and every B I pop A. And I know at the end of the input, jad not should come. Let me keep jad not only. So this is the final state. Okay. So now the language is what is that language accepted by this machine? What is a language accepted or represented by this machine? Okay. So I'm giving the options. Find out which one is right. Is it A star or is it a star B star or it is A star union A power N B power N or it is A power M B power N 
such that m greater than or equal to n okay so really if you want to know the answer that i can provide you right now but just try yourself one of the gate questions if you know the gate pyq then you can conclude the answer right answer here okay this is the first question second one ye comma epsilon a when ash comes i'll change the state then when b comes i will pop them and end of the input i should see z not so this makes very interesting language so identify what language it is m is given here and what is l of m what is the language represented by m okay so let's focus on this uh, language let me say it's a star or a star ash b star or a power n ash b power n such that n greater than or equal to 0 or a power n ash a power n such that n greater than or equal to 0 fine it is also very interesting and important and very easy language too question 3 let me take one state machines rather than this much okay so i'm just taking one state let's say this is a machine i'm giving to you and i'm just taking a epsilon push a and b epsilon push b so what is the language represented by this machine what is language represented or accepted by this machine is is it a star or a star b star or b star or a plus b whole star let's see who will answer it okay this is the third practice question you have the fourth one again a single state machine did i have a final state yes you only use the final state nothing else a comma epsilon i'm going to push a b's and a b comma epsilon i'm going to push the b and what is the language accepted by this machine using final state mechanism is it a b star is it a star is it a plus b whole star or a star b star okay could be very easy example fifth one again em a comma epsilon a and when b comes we are going to pop the b's sorry a's and at the end of the input i have to see a then only i will go to final what it means when at the end of the input when you see a what happens really okay you are going to accept only when you see at the end of the input a is on the top of the stack so what kind of string that you can see that at the end of the input a will be there on the top of the stack is it really a power n b, or let me write something different a power m b power n is that m equal to n where m comma n greater than or equal to 1 or you will see more is m greater than is that possible equal m comma n and m n greater than or equal to 1 okay another one m n where m is less than n but given as m comma n greater than or equal to 1 or is it m not equal to n what will happen here so please try to practice this okay and answer it which one will shoot for this problem anyhow you know only s is not accepted because initial state is not final but look at uh, what's going to happen here so which language is correct for this 
if nobody is matching please say none of them is correct but mostly it should match as per the options okay yeah thank you so much for watching this session and uh, in case if you have any doubts you can post below this video in the comment session so whenever i get the time i'll definitely try to reply for your doubts okay thank you so much bye bye take care